Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I make these easy and delicious Mexican pork ribs. But before we get into it, I'd love it if you could give this video a like and also subscribe to my channel so that you can be notified whenever I upload a new video. These are the ingredients I will be using to flavor the ribs. And I'm using two and a half pounds of pork ribs, four garlic cloves, one fourth of an onion, two bay leaves, chicken bouillon, and water. Now a larger skillet or pot would be better, but I'm working with what I have today. And I'm going to add my ribs to my skillet. And I'm going to try to make it to where they're not on top of each other, but next to each other. You want each um, rib to touch the skillet. Now I'm going to add the one fourth of an onion, my four garlic cloves, and the two bay leaves. I'm also adding two teaspoons of chicken bouillon. And now I'm adding two cups of water to the skillet. And then I'm going to bring this to a boil over medium high heat. And now that it's come to a boil, I'm going to reduce the heat to medium and I'm going to simmer for about 35 to 40 minutes or until the water has evaporated. Now it's time to start on the sauce. For the sauce, I will be using about seven guajillo chilies and three morita chilies. Your chilies should be soft and pliable. If they're dry or brittle, you won't want to use them. I'm giving my chilies a rinse to make sure there's no dust or dirt on them. I'm also rinsing three Roma tomatoes that will be used for the sauce as well. Then I put the chilies and the tomatoes in a pot and I covered with water. I'm going to bring them to a boil over medium heat and I'm going to let them simmer for about 10 minutes or, or until the skins from the tomatoes start to peel. Now I'm going to skim off the grayish colored foam that forms on the surface of the water. Now this is optional, but I prefer to do it. Now I'm about halfway through the simmering time and I'm going to flip over the ribs.
Now I'm going to transfer my chilies and my tomatoes to my blender cup. I'm also going to add the onion and the garlic cloves that were simmering with the ribs to my blender cup. Now I'm adding two teaspoons of chicken bouillon to the blender. Now I'm going to crush about one fourth a teaspoon of oregano leaves between the palms of my hands and I'm going to add it to the blender. This is optional, but I like to add a very small piece of onion, it's not even a fourth of an onion, and one garlic clove to the blender. I like my sauce with lots of flavor. And I'm going to add about one cup of the water that was used to cook the chilies and tomatoes to, to my blender. And now I'm blending until smooth. As you can see, most of the water has now been evaporated from the skillet. And I'm going to continue to cook these ribs until they have a nice golden crust on them. You can go ahead and remove the bay leaves from the skillet. You will want your ribs to look something like these. They have a nice golden crust on them and that's where a lot of the flavor is at. Now it's time to strain in the sauce. And the strainer is to um, prevent the seeds and skins from the chilies from getting into the skillet. And I'm using a spoon to help push the sauce through the strainer. But you could also do this a different way. And I sometimes do this by using my fist and hitting the side of the strainer. And this is also very effective. I'm trying to push as much of the sauce as I can through the strainer. You can use a little bit of water to help you do this. And I don't use just plain water, I use the water that was used to cook the chilies and the tomatoes.
anything that's left in the strainer afterwards is going to be discarded. Now I'm going to get all of my ribs nice and coated in the sauce. Now I'm going to reduce the heat to medium low and I'm going to cover the skillet. I'm going to let the ribs cook for about 25 to 30 minutes or until the ribs are tender. Now the ribs are done and you can see that the sauce has turned a slightly darker color. You can always cook the ribs for a little bit longer if they're not tender yet, but these ones are ready. My favorite way to serve these ribs is with a side of white rice and some warm corn tortillas. This is one of my husband's favorite dishes that I make for him and I hope you guys will give it a try. If you do, I'd love to hear what you think of it in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for visiting and I will see you soon. Bye!